After our hitter gets into a good launch position, they start to begin to swing the bat. So let's start in that good launch position, right there. And what's going to start happening in the swing is you're going to start seeing that the barrel is going to start dropping. Their elbows are working together. The barrel stays behind the shoulder in the first move. And then you're going to hopefully, if she does a good hip turn, she's going to, her hips are going to start to turn. The bat path is going to start working through here. Well, this good bat lag position. And then she'll continue to turn, continue to turn. And at contact, you're going to see this palm up, palm down position, the barrel below the hands, and this good swing path right here. Let's talk about the first one that I would not recommend. So we get a hitters to that good launch position. The first pattern that we see that's really commonly taught is what we call the push pattern or the hands to the ball pattern. And in this pattern, you're going to see the hitter going, taking this downward steep path to the ball and the, kind of a more of a knob to the ball swinging down motion. And so what you'll notice in this bat path is that the barrel itself is not in the zone for a very long time. In order to have a swing like this, you'd have to have impeccable timing. As the higher levels you go, the more difficult this type of swing is. We also see with hitters that have this steep swing path, that we see that they roll over the ball a lot. At contact, you start seeing this rolling over of the wrist, and it doesn't have really the ability to stay through the ball. And so that's what we call the push pattern, or we call the hands to the ball pattern. It's just a pattern that does not have the bat in the zone for a very long time. The next pattern that we see is what we call the pull pattern or the around pattern. This is really common with softball hitters a lot of times or younger hitters where the bat stays flat throughout the swing. So in their launch position or in their load, they get the bat really flat really early. And so you're going to see that before he even begins his swing, this bat gets really flat. There are some major league players that have this type of uh, swing. You'll see it with hitters who are really pull dominant. They pull the ball, a lot of pull power. It is a powerful swing and you're going to notice that in this swing pattern, the barrel is in the zone for a very long time, much longer than the push pattern and hands of the ball pattern. The problem that we have with this pattern is that when we do this pattern, the back gets super flat really early, is that you're going to notice that the hand path is very circular. The, ba the barrel goes in and out of the zone versus staying long and through it. And so, again, that, we see that pattern a lot with softball hitters. We see it with big pull hitters sometimes is this pull pattern where the ball and the bat go around uh, in a circular motion. It's a really good pull pattern, but it's not the elite pattern.